Okay, the next thing I did to make my header look correct was I needed to open up Photoshop or some image program and I needed to get a copy of this um, logo right here. So I just got my marquee selection tool and I dragged a selection, let's say, around this, right, which gets my logo, right? There it is, right? Remember, I flattened all my layers into one layer, so I know I'm going to copy everything that's there in that selection box. And um, let's say uh, I do f uh, edit, copy, right? And then file, new, just click OK, and then edit, paste, right? And so now I've got this image pasted, and once again, I'm going to file, save for web, right? And probably this one I'll save as a JPEG, right? And we'll see how I saved it in my images folder that I have here. So there's my images folder. You'll see I've got the logo saved in two ways, too. I've got it saved as a JPEG and also as a, uh, uh, a ping file, PNG file. So I've got two ways here. One thing I did try to make sure of was that the image size of this background here is 147 pixels tall, and this one's also should also be 147 pixels tall. If you want to make sure of that in Photoshop, all you do is say image, image size, and then look at your pixel dimensions here. So height 147, so I know that it's 147 tall. Now let's say it was a little too tall, or I wanted to change it to 145. Well, all I would do then is say maybe image canvas size and I could go like that so now it's going to shrink from the bottom and I could change this to pixels right and I could say I want this 145 instead and it'll shrink from the bottom up and I hit OK and it says do you want to clip it I hit proceed and then the thing is slightly smaller off the bottom and now I know it's the correct height or whatever but like I said I've already done this right and I've got it sitting in a folder here right in this folder I've got it sitting here now I just need to apply it to my website using CSS code or HTML or however I'm gonna do this so we'll go back to Komodo edit and we'll look and we'll see that on my original what I did was on my finished product is I put it right into the header right I put in an image tag and dropped it right into the header so I'm gonna do that on mine so in I'm gonna copy that so there it is. How I did it on here is I've got the image right here, right in the div header. So I'll just do that on my new one. So index to, instead of this lorem ipsum stuff that I put in this, I'll delete that and delete that. There's my, my header div, right? Opening tag, ending tag. And what I'll do is just paste a line of code that says this is an image tag source src source equals and then in quote quotes look in the images folder forward slash header underscore logo dot jpeg alternate alternate text will be Apollo telemedicine or the name whatever name you want for an alt tag and then your dimensions width equals and height equals in quotation marks and then end your tag right there right and then this time I don't need the dot dot forward slash because this file right is the index 2.html file it's not in the CSS folder it just needs to go directly into the images folder and find the image right so I'll hit file save and we'll refresh the window we'll see what happens here and there it is and it drops right in here uh, you can see that it didn't line up correctly with the background. It's a different size than the background image, so that's kind of um, a bummer. But we could figure out how to fix that. Now we can look in our images folder and we make sure that the GIF is 147 tall, the JPEG is 147 tall so should they should work correctly so I'm gonna go in and see how how can I line this up correctly and I I forget how I did it but we'll look in the code 
and we'll say, well, how did he do that? Well, and the header, the original header, um, I've got header image float left. So I've got a tag here that targets the header image, but that didn't seem to do much. So I've got some other header information here. Um, body, margin zero. I don't know if that did anything. Um, let's see here. Header image float left. Let's copy that out. See if that will... I don't think it needs to float left. That'll have no effect, but you never know. So after this header background property, I could say header image float left. And this will work off the header div but it'll look for the an image um, file. It's an image file, and it'll apply that float left. I don't think that's going to have any effect, though. But what it did do was ruin a little bit my, um, my background images that are underneath, so that's no fun. So, man, don't do that, right? So just say, yeah... You know, that's not helping me out at all. I can comment it out by just doing this. Maybe it'll eventually help me, so I'll just leave it there and maybe try to use it later. And then some other properties that were in here were width, 100% of the window, semicolon. That's one of the properties that was on my original, right? And the display was put into a table. Um, which had an effect display table and I'll hit file save and see what kind of effect that has on the site there comes that back that's good um, padding one pixel zero on the final one I didn't have a padding tag at least it doesn't look like I did, or a padding property for, um, so why don't I get rid of that? So this I don't think I need. I'll comment that out. And hit Control S to save. Go back to my Mozilla browser and hit refresh. And there that padding is gone, and you can see that logo popped right up and solve that problem, right? And so I've got my header all set right up there. And there's a couple more pieces to the header that I have to add. I'll do that in the next video.